Hey, dude, it's Jobber here. Gonna be doing another massive opening for you guys on this nice return of the Jobber thing. We post them every Friday, so stay tuned for that. And please, uh, you know, if you enjoy the video, post a comment down below and give this video a nice little thumbs up. And, uh, you know, subscribe. There's a little uh, bell button next to it, too, it makes it so you can easy to follow my channel and other videos that I post and whatnot. Give you like a little notification. So check that out. And, uh, yeah, so what we're gonna be doing is gonna be doing a massive opening on a lot of these uh, like mystery cube, value cube things. So you got the value cubes is like one of the original ones that I came out with a super long time ago. 40 cards, two booster packs, two foil cards, and two ultra foil cards in every cube. All right, so that's the first one. And then we got these. These are kind of like a, they kind of come at the same time. They're essentially like the same thing, except the price tag. So. As you can see, it's twenty dollars, and looks like this thing's been like cut. Must have did that when they opened the box. <laughs> so, uh, twenty bucks, and they're fifteen. This one comes with an SE box, so I'm guessing that's a that they're doing with a special, maybe a special edition box or a starter deck box. I don't think maybe it's special edition. I don't know. And you got a figure, five foil cards, three rare cards, and then uh, plus two packs. So that's a uh, that's that box. This one right here, kind of. Pretty much the same kind of thing. SE box, uh, one duels pack, three foil cards, three rare cards, plus one booster pack. And the collection box V2. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and this is the, these are basically, whenever I saw these, they were either at Shopco over at Walmart. And these are the six booster packs, three foil cards, plus one storage cube. You get like a random foil on there. Okay, they're much larger cube in comparison to these as you can as you can tell there it's quite the difference there in size it's a little different design so it's pretty cool though they actually hold quite a bit if you want to use them for that and i got one of these the great uh great value boxes you know there's these ones here that i want to call them the giant cards because the giant cards are like five feet tall <laughs> but it has a large card mecha phantom beast draco sack in it and a pack of sleeves and some booster packs in there as well. So uh, yeah, super excited about this nice little return. And I hope you guys are as much as I am. And uh, on that, like I always used to say, let's get cracking. All right, so I guess, let's see. I'll start with this. It has a, I think it has a, it might have a playman in there. No. Eh, we'll open this one anyway. I don't care. And we'll start moving over to those boxes and cubes. Try and do these nice, massive openings for you guys. Sure, it's nice to be back doing these openings. Something I definitely missed. So, uh, Primal Origins, two of those. Uh, Cosmo Blazer, Lord of Talcon Galaxy, Abyss Rising, Judgment of the Light. Uh, we've got a pack of 70 sleeves. Pretty sweet. And you got this large and in charge Mecha Phantom Beast. Drake the Sack. Very cool. This card cannot be used in a duel. Well, if you're playing with your friends, I don't think they're going to mind you dropping your, uh, I don't even know, your 10 inch. Draco sack. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Put that over there. Pack of sleeves, put that over there as well. And then we'll just uh, open up these booster packs. Judgment of the Light. Hopefully, we end up getting some great pulls out of these random cubes and whatnot. They're kind of expensive, but I mean, it is random, so. <clears throat> I guess it's kind of like gambling. <laughs> I don't even know. I've, we've pulled some really nice things out of those, especially like those special editions. If you haven't checked out the last open, you checked that one out. We pulled something super amazing out of the special editions. Ooh, nice. Super Gaga Cowboy. Really cool. Right on. Always like pulling those. And we got a Lord of the Telkion Galaxy Booster Pack now. Oh, 
Oh, no foil. We got a, got a baby dragon there, though. It's pretty cool. For the dragon rulers, anyway. No, no. It's actually it's a card called baby dragon, so... <laughs> Let me clarify. Uh, we are at Cosmo Blazer now. We've only pulled one foil. Still have quite a few more packs to go here. Crimson Blader. Nice! I'm pulling, pulling a secret, but Crimson Blader, they should have made that a foil right off the bat. It's a really cool card. Yeah, so we got our uh, nice secret right here. So we pulled a super and a secret. And um, they ran this card into the Dragon Rulers. This card destroys a mo opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. Your opponent cannot normal or special summon level high, level 5 or higher monster during their next turn. It's very, very helpful in that format because all the Dragon Rulers were... What were they? Seven stars? So, they basically just couldn't put anything on the field. It's really nice. And it was fair, because they can still, you know, have the normal summoner set. They just weren't able to go off, so that was a really helpful card. Especially in the mirror match there. XYZ Universe. I mean, I know, I believe they printed it in a Legendary Collection as a secret rare. But, I mean, it's original printing, they should have made it. A hollow, at least. All right, so we ended up pulling two out of those five packs, which isn't bad. A super and a secret rare. I will not complain about that. Put those over there, and we will move over to our next tier. Hmm. So we'll do do the Walmart cube. <clears throat> See what we end up getting out of here today. Yeah, see, they're not bad. Nice little storage cube, whatever you want in there. It's kind of nice. A Shadow Spectre's booster pack and a, a nice little LA Justice Catastrophe Super Rare. Secrets of Eternity. We got Number Hunters, World Superstars, Secrets of Eternity again, and Cross Souls. We got another foil here. Hundred Eyes Dragon, very cool. Okay, yeah, I'll just open up as we see them. Got a little sensor there, so they don't scan. I don't know how they set how the thing even like gets turned off though. If you're buying this cube, all you do is scan the cube. I don't really know. <laughs> I think that sensor would have went off walking through Walmart. Boom, 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 boom. That's literally what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, nice. Actually, this is really good. F-Zero. That's very cool. Nice. That's a really good secret rare. Put that over there. Very nice. Right on. Actually, let's put all the foils over there. Why not? Do a little separation here. Right, we got number hunters. Oh, nice crazy box. That's a good super rare. And the hollows pile up over here in the little corner. And we have uh, secrets of eternity. Uni Zombie. Fortunately, no foil in there. But we got our second Secrets of Eternity booster pack. Then we'll move over to our Shadow Specters. And uh, three more of those value cube box things. And uh, I guess we'll just figure out which one is the best one. It's kind of hard to beat the box when you know you're going to get one of those I mean, pack of sleeves and a big card and all that stuff. And that's really cool. Being guaranteed things. That's why I always like those legendary collections, you know, being guaranteed the, the foils and whatnot. They always put a lot of you know, good reprints and foil upgrades to a lot of cards. 
All right, so that's that. Let's see. I guess we'll move over to the next old cube. It's like the original one. These are nice because when... Uh, try to cut this without cutting myself. When you pick them out, you can see what kind of structure deck. I just always get them no matter what, whenever I see them. But there's a specific structure deck that you would like. You can get that. And they're really nice, actually. These are all these are all just pack hollows. I wonder how they make put these together. It's like op randomly open booster packs until they get foils and then put them in the the cubes. That was really nice. I think it's actually a first. Three pack hollows <laughs> right off the bat. And of course, you're a uh, Giant block of the styrofoam. You need that. And then I uh, got a structure deck. Two booster packs. Unfortunately, with these ones, they're a little bit harder to use because these things are sometimes. Well, this is actually coming off pretty easy. But sometimes they just like do not come off. They, <laughs> they shred and everything. You can't really use it. The other, the bigger cube, it's just a lot easier. Um, yeah, we'll just open up the structure deck here. Why Swarns has always been a good deck, especially with cards like Judgment Dragon, destroy the entire field. Really good card. That's a whole, they're pretty good too. And buy three of these structure decks, and you got a pretty decent, fun deck to play with your friends. Okay, and now we got our two Secrets of Eternity booster packs. I seem to really like Secrets of Eternity so far, for what we've been noticing. I'm assuming they're, the warehouse must have a lot of those. <laughs> nice, good and evil. We got a super rare. Which actually kind of makes four, because they gave us three pack foils. Which is, like I said, it's kind of odd. Normally they give you like, number of hunter foils, you know, the sets that... You always are guaranteed a foil, and these are base sets. Then you weren't guaranteed a foil. And we ended up pulling a Sky Base Ultra Rare. Cool for it. It's very cool. So actually, that was really good. Yeah, five pack foils plus a structure deck out of that special edition. So that was... Yeah, I think that would be the best one, especially for the value, because the first one, the value box, I think think they're like $20. That value cube is 10. The Walmart cube, the bigger one is 20. So now we have this one, which is 15. We'll put that one to the side. We'll do the more expensive one first. This is $20. I really don't. From what I look, from what it looks like, they're like the same, but we will find out. So we do get a special edition, which is nice. Got a pendulum sorcerer. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. What is that? Get the rest of the stuff out of this box. This is quite the thing here. Alright. I think we got it all. Yeah. Alright. Um, our random cards. Got, oh, got a couple of foils here. Upside down, right side up, everywhere. Every which way. That's not bad. Okay. I'm okay with this. Dragons of Legends. I haven't opened any of those in a long time. Or at all. I don't, know, I don't even know. We got this nice special edition, which is cool. But what do we have here? Series 2. Each foil pack. Collectible game piece. Collect all 20. Oh my gosh. We gotta open it up. Let's see what's going on here. I see... I see fiber jar right there. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, nice. It actually is fiber jar. Really cool. Right on. Oh. Oh, it's like one of those. Um... Oh, my gosh. It's a type. What were they called back in the day? It's like imagination. I don't there was like a those like board games where the you you be able to collect those dials and move, and you can certain amount of move steps you can do and damage and have, yeah. So they obviously they were they were creating some kind of game. 
really cool. That's really neat. I wish you can get some really sweet ones of this too. The fiber drill actually did a pretty good job on it overall. And the, the art, I like that. Cool. All right. Well, that was really neat. I actually really like that. The $20 one is actually uh, doing really well right now. <laughs> it's winning me over. Got Raw's Disciple here. Ooh, very cool. But Nova's a seeker. That, the, the coloring of this card's really nice. I like that. Right on, man. That, the pile of foils back here. It's building. All right. What we got here? All these beautiful ultra rares. And there's our secret rare. It's kind of bent. It's like, it's like crease. You see that? That sucks. <laughs> Must have really shoved it in the container because all the cards are kind of bent. That's unfortunate, but that happens in shipping. All right, so we're over to the last part of this, and that's going to be the, that's not even special, it's called a super edition. So we will see what's in the Super Edition. I really don't know why they even decided to change the name from uh, Special to Super, but, you know, change is sometimes good. Good and evil, actually, I pulled one of those. Yeah, so we're doing our Secrets of Eternity packs. <laughs> that is definitely the set they have uh, been given, a, given away the most of, it seems. And he's nice. We pulled a foil this time, though. We got an Infernoid. Really cool. No foil on that one. We did get one so far, and for our third and final pack, for the more expensive version of the box, and then we'll check out the cheaper one and see where we're at. Okay, all right. So for our final mystery box thing, we got the collector's box V2. And we'll see what's in here. And, oh my gosh, and see why the other one was uh, $5 more. This adhesive, you see this? Check that out. It's going to be easier just to rip it. Yeah, can't even get that open. It's, that was way easier. Whew. Got hidden packs in there and... Hidden random cards they just kind of like put in there loosely. That's all right, though. We're okay with free cards. Oh, nice. Wow, that's really nice, actually. Got an old DBT Super Rare. Do you say that's really cool? Got a Platinum Rare and a Gold Rare Sinister Serpent. A few rares. That's pretty cool. I'm going to get a special edition. Alright. I don't know. $5 less? They're both they're both really good, so if either way, I mean, if you see one, I, I would recommend it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Alright, I'm just going to go for this. Pull some of these spider exceeds or whatever. <laughs> All right, we got a nice, nice little cyber dragon there. Ooh, Sukiyomi, very cool. That's that for that. We'll lay out our stack of foils over there, and then we'll open up this other pack. See what we get. <laughs> that action figure is really cool. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that. 
All right. Ooh, very cool. The Meteor Black Comet Dragon is our Ultra, and it's first edition, too. Very cool. I'm getting pretty uh, lucky here with our pack opening. Okay, what do you guys think we're going to get here as our promo? I'm going to say TG Hyper Librarian. 50-50. You guess it. Here we go. The moment of truth. Damn, I always 50-50 and I swear I always call it wrong. <laughs> Number 30 acid goal of destruction. Alright. So now we have uh three return of the duelist booster packs. Actually really cool. It's a nice old set. Oops. Losing cards. Pack one down. A second one. Yeah, if you guys can post a comment down below letting me know what you guys think was the best special edition. I mean, I definitely like the idea of you getting a... Out of these value cubes, getting these special editions out of them. I think that's cool. I, mean, I worded that incorrectly. You're the best value cube or value box. I should say. I definitely like it when you know you're going to be... Oh my gosh! Wow! These things are incredibly hard to pull, okay? It may not have the, the most amazing value behind some of the ghost rares, but to get like a ghost draw, I think it was like one in every case. A case is 12 booster boxes, and we just pulled one out of this. This is definitely a winner. <laughs> wow. Best pull of, the, of uh, the opening for sure. My goodness. Right on. I've hardly pulled any ghost rares ever in all the openings I've ever done. So that is a that is quite the feat right there. That was amazing. All right. Well, uh, we'll go through these foils. One last time. I was really impressed with that one giving us three pack foils. I, I don't know if that was a mistake or what. That was really, really nice. And we got these nice little uh, prizes up there. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. We have 40, what was that, 48, 49 foils with the ghost rare. And we got this nice big card pack of sleeves. This is super awesome figure. I didn't even know they made this a game. That's really awesome. So we're learning here as we go along. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said earlier on the video, please post a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video and uh, what you thought was the best value box cube that we opened and, you know, your opinion on it. And uh, yeah, subscribe. And bell me as well. There's a little bell right next to the subscribe thing. Kind of gives you notifications, letting, letting you know when I post videos and all that good stuff. And yeah, so uh, stay tuned. I will be here next Friday at the same time. And on that, Jobber here is signing out.